October 6th, 1985. I'm 10 years old now, and I'm looking into the future. I'm writing this for my kids now. Today I'm looking back at it, and I can't believe that I finally got it off. I got it off. Yes, I am legally disabled, and that has made me into the man I am today. A man came to my workshop in the UK. He told me that he was ready to commit suicide, ready to give up. He had lost virtually everything, from family to money to everything, and it was just his time to let go. <clears throat> he told me this on a, during a one-on-one -on -one session with him, and he told me that my videos and what I've done in putting these videos out there, it gave him a reason to laugh, it gave him a reason to smile, and it gave him a reason to hope. I'm making this video because he told me, Jason, there are others out there watching your videos who need to hear the message to never give up. So this video is for you. This video is for you if you're sitting there and you're feeling cold and empty and alone. This video is for you if you're sitting at a hospital bed and you feel like you'll never walk again. Because I know what that feels like. This video is for you if nobody believes in you. This video is for you if you don't believe in yourself. I had wonderful parents. From my dad, I, I got more of the gentle side of things, soft-spoken voice. My mom gave me my grit, my moxie. When I came down with Lake Perthes disease, I told her I wouldn't walk again. I'm a seven and a half year old boy who loved sports, was very fit, I went from that seven and a half year old boy who was involved in sports and school and everything else to a, a child that couldn't walk and was completely incapacitated, hospitalized for months. Then I had home care where I, I couldn't move. I had double casts with a, a wooden, a wooden uh, bar in the middle. I'd wear that brace for two years. All told, it was th three some odd years I, I couldn't walk, I couldn't do anything. When I watched the Forrest Gump movie and I watched him run, and break out of that brace, I cried. I did, I cried. Now when I learned to walk again, there, was, there wasn't a moment like that. I didn't run, I could barely walk. But my mom refused to let me feel sorry for myself. My mom refused to let me give up. My mom refused to let me feel self-pity. Thank you, mom. All of us have a little spark inside of us, like a, like a pilot light, a little flame that burns inside of us. If you think about how you build a fire, you need a spark. Then as soon as that spark hits the kindling, it starts to burn a little bit. Then you blow on it and you breathe into it. You breathe life into that fire. It starts to grow and grow. And then you have to start tend your fire. You got to start making sure it stays in control and you're, you're feeding it without choking it. Well, if you do it right, that fire, that little spark, grows into something that can warm your entire family, your, your community, the world. Somebody is watching this and you feel like nobody believes in your spark and you believe that your spark is gone. It is not gone. You just gotta feed it. I'm saying it to you because you may not believe there's anyone else out there who believes in you. Well, if you don't think there is, and if you haven't heard it in person, listen to my voice. I believe in you. I do. And if you say it enough, and you play this over and over and over again, you will believe in yourself. And when the doubt comes in, and the rain pours, and you're struggling, and you've lost your best friend, and you've failed, <laughs> 
failed. We've all failed. I have failed so many times. I just choose to feed my spark. And when Vanden died, I felt like my spark was dead. So Vanden, <laughs> I, <laughs> I still can't believe you're gone. Broad lighting, turn your face this way for me. Thank you, brother. I right, like that. I still can't believe we don't get to play around together. Wow. I felt the ground move right by my feet. <laughs> That'll wake you up a little bit. You were my original team member. My first. Hmm? Is murder illegal in West Virginia? Only if somebody catches it. <laughs> okay, that's what I was hoping. When there's a very old piece of what appears to be lingerie, <laughs> imagine that somebody might have fornicated here. You were my closest and dearest friend. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna is not holy water. It That's the, Catholic. It is, hard, it is for the Hare Krishna. <laughs> this is the moment where I wish I would have. Uh huh. Looking at us like these heifers are going to come up this mountain. I don't know about this. <laughs> you, know you, know, you know how you know he's your best friend? He feels really bad for you guys recording this. <laughs> yeah, it's only taking two hours to set up the video feed. <laughs> To remove. This could have been out a half an hour ago, but you're setting all these cameras up. This is going to be amazing footage. I took a little bit of dirt from Vanden's grave, and I rubbed it in the inside of my hat. So he goes with me all over the world. We should cherish our lives and every breath and every step that we get because he no longer has them. Whatever or whoever you are today, you can be better tomorrow. You can. You can. It's just the truth. Belief is such an incredibly powerful thing. Belief is what has driven every enormous movement in the history of mankind. It's all based on belief. From religion to science and everything in, in between, it's a belief in something that drives human beings to pursue a goal. See, for every big person and celebrity and personality and YouTube person, whoever you see out there, they're all flawed and they all have a ton of problems. It's just those of us who choose to get up and talk ourselves out of quitting. We're the ones left standing. I want to give up just as badly as you do. I do. I just talk myself out of it. And yes, the truth is live in your dreams it means there's still bad stuff that happens. There's still the IRS and figuring out how you're going to pay the bills. The truth is every successful person out there was at one point a complete nothing. So if those people can be complete nothings and now can be world famous successes, why can't you? Over the years, I've received emails and messages from people. A lot of people who are bedridden, I get a lot of messages from people like that who have a lot of time on their hands and people who have had tragic accidents or they've been shot. I've had a lot of messages from people who felt like they had no way and know where to turn. These people come to my workshops. These people message me. And the messages mean the world to me. You have no idea. And maybe now you know why. It's because I am disabled. If you have negative influences in your life, do everything you can to rid yourself of those negative influences. That's what I do in my life. People who come into my life, either professionally or personally, if they are a negative influence, I get rid of them. I do not allow people to rain on my parade. See, there's, there's no middle ground. You either choose to grow to be the best you or you choose to grow to be the worst you. If you're living, you're moving in one of the two directions. So the question you have to ask yourself is, are you growing to be the best you or the worst you? I was really hesitant for a while to make a video about me being disabled. I really was. Why? People make decisions, draw conclusions. They think that disabled people can't do things or why would someone want to hire a disabled photographer? Even as I'm making this, my legs are sore from standing in the same place for so long. If you guys want to know the truth. <laughs> if you knew sometimes how I just don't want to make a video. 
But I talk myself into it. Day after day, week after week, year after year. The absolute hardest thing to do when you get knocked down is to stand back up. But once you've stood back up, and you take that first step, and that second step, and that third step, the steps start getting easier. Not everything is walking through mud. Not everything feels like quicksand. Not every day is hard. No weed, no, no weed, weed. No, no, weed. Drink. no drinks. No weed. This is awesome. And the more effort and energy you put into this. I shaved off all the scruff just for this moment. And the more positivity. I should do macro shots in my own face. And the more belief that you inject into yourself. <laughs> Where's the third angel? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Allie. <laughs> And the more that you tend your spark and build your fire. Hey, Mom. How are you? How are you? Good. It's great to see you. It will get easier. It will. Too many people can benefit from what you have to give and provide. You can't just sit in that bed and give up. You can't just sit in the corner in a dark room and say, I'm not going to do it. You're depriving the world of you. The world needs what makes you so magical and special, let us have you. I refuse to let this tell me who I am. I refuse to let this stop me from dreaming. If you're watching this and you feel like your spark is gone, it's alive. If you're breathing, your spark's alive. Till next time, keep shooting. Have a great time no matter what you do. And uh, what should I say? We have got to come up with a tagline. Keep it clicking. <laughs> Super cheesy. <laughs> this blows. This video is not oh, going to ever edit, see the light edit, of day. Edit, edit, edit. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Oh, hey, you guys still there? Hello? Talking to you. Really, you're still there? That's awesome, guys, thanks. If you wanna continue this learning online, go to patreon.com slash Photography, and you can learn alongside me. You can watch my screens, you can edit with me, do all of it from anywhere in the world on any computer, guys. It's the best way to learn if you can't make it to a workshop. If you're crazy and you want to see me in person and you're ready for it, then go to www.jasonlanier.com slash register. You can find a workshop near you and we will have an absolute blast together. It's about inspiration. It's about photography. It's about life and it's about finding the passion in all of them. So again, guys, if you want to learn online, if you can't make it to a, something in person, patreon.com slash jasonlanier photography. And if you want to learn in person, jasonlanier.com slash register now the last time i did this let me see i'll just do it with my finger this time <laughs> i love doing that it just pisses off the pros i'll talk to you guys later peace